Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a quick tip in Revit on how to bring back the project browser and properties panels in case they get removed. So here we are, thank you for watching. I'm sure all of us as a Revit users at one point or another we accidentally removed one of the panels on the side dock. Personally, when this uh, first happened, it took me more than a few minutes to find out how to bring it back. And uh, that's why I thought I will share this quick tip with everyone just to make life easier. So currently I have two panels docked on the left uh, side. One is the project browser panel where all your levels, floor plans, elevation views, cross sections and all your families, the loaded families can be found as well as the properties panel for each uh, selection we make on our uh, project. So uh, if at any point accidentally you click on the close button, the little X icon on, the, on each of the panels, this will remove it and fill the remaining uh, docking side panel with the one, one remaining panel that is left. Since the panel we just removed is one of the most used panels when designing in Revit, this can cause a little bit of frustration until we manage to bring it back. For the purpose of this example, let's go ahead and close the project browser panel as well. And now both of our panels have been removed. Now let's see how can we quickly bring them back. At the top uh, menu, we have to go at the view tab. Click on the view tab to open our uh, menu selection. And on the right, there's, an, uh, there's a button called User Interface. And we can see here that both the Project Browser and the Properties panels, both they are not selected and they are missing from our interface. To bring one of them back, just select. I will select first the Properties panel. And as soon as, as I select it, the panel will uh, be placed again at its uh, last position. Let's bring the browser panel as well. In the view tab, user interface, and we select the project browser. And there they are both back at their orig original position. So basically this is all there is to it. Under the View tab, using the User Interface drop-down menu, we select which panel we want to restore and uh, click the tick box next to it. One other thing that might uh, happen with our panels, this time instead of closing it, we might accidentally move it away from its docking area. So let's see how we can uh, bring it back to where it was. What we have to do is left click with your mouse on the top title of the panel. And by holding the left uh, button uh, down, we move the panel to where we want to dock it. As soon as we reach the docking area, it highlights with blue the showing us where the panel will be docked. Release the mouse button and there it is back to its place. Uh, some others might want to bring the panels on the right side, one panel on the left and one on the right. Personally, this uh, reduces the working space in the interface. Therefore, um, usually I choose to have them both on one, on one side. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.